Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22. It is finally here. It just released for me about an hour and 22 minutes ago at the time that I'm recording this, although it would have been, I guess, yesterday for some of you, depend, depend on where you're at, I think. Um, I actually downloaded it from the, um, the Giants website so I could get it a few hours earlier because uh, I think Steam doesn't open up until like midnight my time or something weird like that. So uh, I did get it. Uh, it's Sunday the 21st, so it is officially the day it has come out. Hopefully a lot of you guys are enjoying the game. I have not, obviously, had it for an hour and 22 minutes, and I was wrapping up some other stuff, so I have not had a chance to touch anything other than getting it set up. So we're going to jump into this. Uh, we're going to be playing with Seasons Turned On. It's something I want to be, I was, I was excited to see added to the game this year. And we're going to see what's going on. I mean, there's a lot that I don't know. There's a lot that I've got to learn, but we're going to find out. And uh, Farming Simulator is one of my most successful series on my channel. So hopefully this one meets that level of excitement as well. But let's get right into it. All right, here we are in game. Here's the first scene here we can see. Uh, it would be cool if this was a uh, live action scene of sort, although the painting itself actually does look pretty nice. I'll be honest. Um, and it even changes with the scene, with, with the uh, the seasons, which is pretty cool. But uh, here we are in game. Not much going on with the game. We There is a little bit of downloadable content already. Uh, I've got whatever, whatever came with the game, basically. I think it was like some, uh, in fact, we can go look right now. There was the uh, class Zerion saddle track pack. I have that already set up and installed. And then there was a little bit of other uh, stuff. Let me see. Where is it? How do I cycle through these? I'm actually using, just so you guys know, I am using the Xbox controller. The I think it's the Xbox Pro or whatever they call it. Um, that is what I am using for this. At some point, I might consider getting a steering wheel. If you guys have any suggestions on good steering wheels, please let me know. Uh, but I do have these other three uh, things installed as well that I saw on the website when I was downloading the game. The Mac Truck Black, Mac Black Anthem, which actually looks really cool. The Zetor 25K, nice small little tractor. Reminds me a lot of the ones that my grandfather used to drive. And then a Fent, uh, my, uh, one of my grandfathers. One of my grandfathers drove a tractor like this, and the other one drove more like combines and stuff like that. So I had two, two grandfathers. As you guys know, if you've watched any of my other series uh, that did a lot of farming back in the day. And then we got this Fent here that looks really, really nice as well. So those are the content we have so far. Nothing else that I've seen. I'm sure there will be lots of downloadable content coming in the days to come. If you have seen my stuff before, uh, I tend to try to stay away from anything that's not giants. And for no other reason than I want to play stuff that I know for sure that people that are maybe playing on the consoles that they can use. And usually a lot of the giant stuff is available for people on the consoles. So um, I'm not saying I will never download something from somebody else. And there's a lot of great modders out there. That's that is not, not a knock on modders at all. Uh, it's just... You know, I just for, for reasons I've decided I, I can't download everything. It would be literally impossible to to play the game successfully with everything downloaded. So I had to pick a line somewhere. I was like, you know, what? I'll draw the line at Giants and we'll just go with that. If I see something else that looks nice, if you guys have some just suggestions as time goes by of a really, really good add on I'm, uh, or mod or whatever, I might try it. So just let me know. But anyway, let's kind of jump into this. I'm excited to get started. No idea how this is going to work. What's going on? I've never done seasons before. I wanted to do seasons in 19. I just never got around to it. Um, but we're going to try seasons here. I am going to be doing start from scratch. Uh, I think that is the, I don't know. It's what I had the most fun with last time. We do have three maps here. We have Ar Erlingrat, which we have played in 19 a little bit. We have the Holt, Holt Bailiron, which is like a French countryside, I believe. And then we have Elm Creek. I did put up a survey, uh, um, uh, a poll, I guess, on the YouTube channel to see what people would prefer I play. It was overwhelmingly Elm Creek, which I was glad about because that was the one I wanted to play as first. Uh, but we will definitely experience some of these other ones at some point in time. So let's get into Elm Creek. Uh, we are definitely going to play, might as well, play with the Klaus Zerian thing installed. And let's see how long it takes to actually load this map. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, there we go. Jumped up a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. It goes pretty fast. I actually just loaded it just to make sure the game would actually load. So it's possible there's some uh, assets and stuff like that already loaded in the game. So your time on loading the map might be a little different than what I am seeing right here. Uh, we are ready to start. All right, let's, here's our character. I'm actually going to jump to the keyboard and mouse for this because I think it'll be a little easier to kind of control through some of this. Uh, it looks like we can have male and female characters. And if my understanding is correct, you can change this, or at least the clothes they're wearing after you get into the game. So 
Whether or not that is the case, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to change this to Embroyer. How does it know I'm David? This is not linked to Steam as far as, like, it's not. Uh, maybe it pulls from Windows somewhere. Maybe it does. Uh, so we're going to make our name Broyer here. Um, I guess we'll go with this dude, although his chin is quite a bit more impressive than mine. So there is that, but we'll go with him. But uh, yeah, that's really cool to see a little bit of customization here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what kind of hair we want? I mean, I do have my hair parted a little bit, so I mean, that's close to kind of what I'm doing right now, although um, I think my hair is starting to thin a little bit, <laughs> admittedly. I'm, it's probably, who knows how far along before I get to look like this right here. Actually, truth be told, uh, this is actually my, my grandfather. Uh, uh, my grandfather on my dad's side. This is what he, he looked like most of the time. It's just a little bit, of, little bit of stuff around the outside. And then my grandfather on my mom's side, who's the one that did most of the big, big tractor farming. He had a full head of hair. So um, thankfully, I've been able to hold on to mine a little while longer. Uh, than my, my dad and my grandfather on my dad's side. Um, I guess I'm going to go with like, I guess this haircut for now. and just kind of looks similar to what I'm wearing right now. Uh, we do need to change the color. I'm a little bit darker brown, right? I mean, on the camera, it looks like I'm really dark brown, but I don't think when you actually see it in real life. Probably something like that. Go with that. I do have the facial hair going on. Um, I mean, I could just go with a scruff, which is kind of what I got going on right now, but I am growing it back. So I'm tempted to just go with full beard. What does the mustache look like if I add that on here? I mean, something like that. It's actually not too bad. I do need to change the color to whatever the color of the hair was. Oh, that is the same color. That just looks too dark. The beard looks darker. I'm over here looking at my own picture. <laughs> if it can't tell what I'm doing. I mean, we'll go with this. Uh, why is it black? I didn't mean black. I want that. Or not. Maybe... I just, I, that, that beard looks too dark. I'm going to have to go back up here and I'm going to have to go with this and get rid of the mustache. I think, I think we're just going to go with a little scruff. Uh, well, well, what I looked like a few, few couple weeks ago when I shaved it here at the beginning of November for no shave November. We'll go with that. Oh no, my screen went away. As you can see my, my background here as I was trying to load the game. Um, where did it come? There we go. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's go shirts. Got branded shirts, which is kind of cool. Nice coveralls. Like, are those like racing outfits? That's what they look like. I guess it's. I guess people that like mow, mow stuff and things. Maybe they wear some of that sometimes. I was like, why is it getting this like weird like hiccup? But I guess it's loading the the, the graphic. I mean, honestly, I think if I was farming, I, I might just use some coveralls. I mean, again, kind of going with what my grandfather's used to run. They used to just have some good old coveralls on, you know? Um, single piece suit is equipped. Single piece suit is equipped. That's fine with me. We'll get us some nice big old, you know, boots or something. I don't know. Those look like steel toe boots or something like that. Honestly, these brown ones are probably okay. Uh, I don't want to... I'm, a hat is definitely not up my speed. Uh, probably just a good old, good old cowboy. Or good, not cowboy a good old just baseball cap. It's probably what we want. I like the helmet. Um, honestly, I mean, my grandfather's would have been John Deere probably a lot of times or Case or something like that. I have to just run the John Deere here. You know, we'll just go, we'll keep it basic. We'll keep it plain. Uh, can we set the color of the hat? Can we make it broyer blue? Might meet the channel colors a little bit. Uh, kind of maybe this one. It's close. I think it's closer to this one, but I do like this darker blue a little bit better. We'll go with the dark blue. Uh, was I able to change the shirt? I was not able to change the shirt, right? And I couldn't change anything else. I do like the coveralls, okay. I don't think we need the gloves. Like, I can't remember my grandfather ever. I'm sure he wore gloves for like specific things like working on something, but I think most of the time he was just, you know, no gloves at all. And then we're going to put some glasses on here because I do, of course, wear glasses. Um, I mean, I can go with some shades, but probably... Probably these closest. I mean, these are pretty close. We'll go with these. Get us some glasses. Done with that. There you go. I mean, it's not too bad. Again, definitely a much more imposing chin than I've got. But otherwise, got us a good old farming boy here. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, actually, you know what? I do need to change a couple other settings here. We start with $500,000 to our name. 
And here we are in the map. Uh, in fact, if we come back here uh, and look at this, this is the map. This is a pretty big map. In fact, does it go? No, it does not go all the way to the edges out there. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, that would be way crazy if you can get out there and do some of the, the chopping of the wood and stuff. But it's still a really, really sizable map. Uh, I mean, we've got, how many fields do we have? 70, 81 fields, 82 fields, it looks like. That is a lot of fields to choose from. Different shaped fields. We've got this kind of crazy, like, I don't know, oblong shape. We've got some little more squared off shapes, things like that. So tons of fields. I mean, some tiny fields up here. Perfect for starting, probably. And then it gets to some absolutely massive fields. And this map is really, really large. Uh, we do obviously have some new crop types. Uh, do we have any of the brand new ones in here? We've got grapes. Do we have grapes? I don't see any grapes. It's possible. Uh, can you grow grapes on the U.S. map? I mean, I assume all the crops can grow anywhere. Uh, I don't think they've limited it that, but it's possible they did. Um, poplar. Oh, well, the poplar's not one. Uh, sorghum, grapes, and olives, I think, are the three new ones, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we do have crop types. Obviously, we've got grass. We've got different growths. I mean, all this we're fairly familiar with, seeing different things, the soil compositions. Um, are we... Time running, I should probably pause time here, actually. Let's, um, what is the controls to pause time? Is it just minus? No. What is it? I don't remember the two controls to pause time. Um, what am I looking for? I'm trying to find the... That's cool, we have a circular... Is that... That's new, right? We never... We didn't used to have a circular map, did we? I could be wrong. I don't remember if there's a way... There's got to be a way to pause time, right? I guess I can come down here to the settings at least, and we'll just get it turned off for now. Where are the time units? Probably right in front of my face. Or I guess I could look here and see what the settings are. All right, not with the controller. I gotta, I gotta use the keyboard for something. Uh, time, 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 time. Why do I not remember? I thought it was plus and minus. Vehicle. Vehicle, crane, game. Pause game is just pause. Okay, we can do that for sure. Time scale, eight and seven. Is it really? Has it always been eight and seven? Why did I think it was plus and minus? All right, well, whatever. Let's do... Oh, we can always get on a half speed? Some new speeds here. I mean, I'm not going to go too fast because I don't want it to go crazy. But we'll definitely just pause the game for now. Can I go look at the menu while the game's paused? Looks like I can. Okay. All right, back in the menu. Um... Let's go see what else we got going on here. Because uh, obviously a lot of this stuff is new. I mean, I like the menu. I like the way it looks. But there's definitely some new stuff here that we need to take into account. So we do have, uh, we looked at the crops. We have the different crop types, the different grasses, the different levels of growth. Anything new here? A uh, seed bed is new, right? And then stubble tillage, that's different. Uh, cultivated plow, that's, that's the same. Growing. Growing has more uh scale to it doesn't it more 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 gradient maybe is the right word uh there used to be what three colors of growing and now there's one two three four five six seven eight if i'm seeing if i'm counting the lines there correctly looks like there might be eight i don't know if it's levels or if it just progresses the growth better so it's more of a gradual growth progression as opposed to here's your three stages explicitly so that's possible we'll have to dig into that some more uh ready to harvest obviously we've seen that before harvested remove foliage um I think it's just renamed. I feel like that might be something. It might have been called something else before, but I may not. I may be misremembering. Uh, soil composition, weed, fertilized, two layers of fertilization. It needs plowing, it needs lime. So all that's the same. Nothing new there. Uh, different hotspots, vehicles, combines, trailers, tools. Actually, I don't remember them differentiating between the different types of uh, vehicles and combines and stuff like that. I feel like it was just all vehicles before. I could be wrong. Uh, we've got the tip station and the loading station. Productions, obviously, that's new for uh, Farm Sim 22. Um, animals, workers, contracts, and others. And that is that. Uh, and bear with me. I, this first episode is probably going to be a lot of what is going on in this game. Uh, I might make it a little bit longer just to make up for that. But we may not get into any actual gameplay this first episode. Because I'm going to be going over a lot of the stuff. Because honestly, I just I don't know. I haven't seen it before. Active workers. Uh, I think if I remember reading it correctly. Excuse me as I adjusted my chair. Um, not only can you have active workers on fields now, you can have actual active workers that run around and do like drop off loads and stuff like that, which is amazingly cool because quite frankly, that was the part that was like, oh good, my workers get to do all the work and all I get to do is just go drop off the load at the, at the drop off places. And 
don't get me right, it's fine, but it would it, it's nice to know that our workers could do that. I think there's supposedly some bugs to work out. It's not working 100% accurately if I remember reading some uh, some of some re reviews already, but it is definitely a cool feature that I, I assume that Giants is going to continue working on and make sure it is perfect. Uh, here is the season stuff. So there are specific seasons that we can plant, specific seasons that we can harvest that will change what crops we run at different times. Um, and, you know, there's going to be some different time periods where there's not a lot going on. As you can see, December, January, not a lot going on. We can't plant, we can't harvest unless we come down here to poplar grass and oilseed radish. Other than that, there's nothing we can do. So something to take into account. We have actual weather now. Um, as you can see, we got different levels of, I guess, wind speed and direction. Uh, I'm assuming moisture, rain. Uh, I think it's just like in the last uh, 2019, if it rains, you can't harvest during rain. Uh, we have not experienced snow. Snow, as you can see, February. It will be snowing in February. That is new. What is going to happen when it snows? I'm assuming you can't harvest certain things in the snow either, uh, maybe. Uh, but I also know that you have to like maybe plow out your, your driveways or different things like that. So something we get to play around with as well. Uh, different prices here. Um, we can see the buying prices, the selling prices of different things. Although nothing's currently selling at the moment. But, you know, it's different, different, different look to this. I mean, obviously this is all similar. And honestly, in a way... I'll be honest, I think I actually preferred that stretched out look that showed you everything in one one just look, but this is fine. I mean, they obviously have a lot more stuff they have to add uh, because they have all of the um, the production stuff. We got flour, we've got bread, we've got cakes, we've got butter, cheese. I mean, all of these things we can produce that we can get into the production queues for, production chains, and actually be a part of. And that is going to be one of the coolest features of Farm Sim 22, I think. Uh, there's a vehicle overview, no vehicles yet, uh, nothing with our finances yet. We do have a $200,000 loan, it appears, so I suppose we could repay that or we could start taking out some other loan. We'll see. We'll dig into that. Animals, nothing yet, obviously. Contracts looks the same. Um, I don't know if this is the case, but I would. I really hope that these are more than just pictures on a screen. I would be nice if these were like people that we can kind of build up a reputation with and um, maybe they give us more lucrative jobs at some point, but I don't think that's the case. I haven't seen anything else about that, but it would be kind of cool if there was a little bit more of an interaction with the people on this screen uh, overall. Production change, we don't have any yet. We will definitely, definitely be digging into that. That will be a lot of fun to play with. Um, that's just overall statistics, nothing to see. Economy difficulty is hard, um, which we're going to leave that on. Um, I mean, we'll just, sure, we'll enter a game save here for, we'll call this the uh, let's play, uh, let's just, just play, let's play one. Uh, autosave interview, 15 minutes, that's fine, I guess. Time scale, 0.5, oh yeah, for now, that's, that's okay. It's economy, that's on, traffic's on, seasonal growth, yes. Okay, so here's the thing that I need to think about. How many days per month do we want? Now, obviously, think about, there are three months per season, so whatever if we set this to, it'll be, you know, times three for that many, many days in the actual season. Um, I was thinking you can actually go all the way up to 28 days. You can actually make this practically lie. Like, like it, you, if you play a year in the game, then you've played a year of, like, it's just, it's, which is crazy to think about. I don't, we're not going to do 28 days that we will never see like all four seasons. I don't know how, I mean, it would take us a long time to get through all that. So I'm thinking, I was thinking, I think one is too short, quite frankly. I think 28 is significantly too long. I was thinking like three days, honestly. Um, that way we could see the seasons pop up. But how many days does it take to like harvest stuff? Like we don't want to plant stuff. And then like suddenly it's it's the next season. We can't do anything with it. Um, I'm thinking like three days, maybe five days per, per month. Well, three days would give us nine days per season. So I actually, yeah, I think that's plenty. I think three days would be perfect. I don't think we want to go less than that. And I think more than that, we'll have to just play around with and see. Uh, we could fix the month to a specific visual, just in case if we want to just see snow all the time, but we will not be doing that. We will turn snow on because I think that'll be very cool. Crop destruction on, periodic plowing, field stone, which is new. Uh, we have not seen stones before, but this is something that we can uh, then cultivate and plow under and stuff like that. Mine required, we'll leave that on, weeds on, vehicle can control dirt. Just put a non normal. I think that's fine. Automatic engine start. Did I run that last last time I did this? I can't remember. Um, you know, we'll, 
I don't think it really matters one way or the other. I'll leave it off for now. If I get, a, get around to it and decide, you know what? I do like it better the other way. Then we'll do that. Trailer fill limit. Trailers can only be filled until the max allowed weight is reached. You can turn that off. Do I want that off? I kind of like, don't I like the fact that it just fills to it, whatever it's at? Why would you over, you wouldn't want to overfill it, obviously, because then you would just spill it out on the ground, right? I think I'm going to turn this on just because it sounds like it would be annoying to just have to stop at a specific time, unless I'm misunderstanding what that means. Uh, normal fuel, use, fuel usage. Uh, we'll leave all the auto uh, AI workers stuff off. Uh, we're not going to let them buy stuff right away, but we may turn some of that on at some point, just for um, quality of life type of things. Uh, we'll leave the help window on for now. Colorblind, we don't need that. Field info, I like that. All the dollars, miles, Fahrenheit, acres. We will not be having the radio because I think that's a lot of the stuff is copyrighted. Uh, a lot of this stuff looks fine to me. Most of this should play the same. Hopefully, like riding a bike, and I'll get, I'll remember it pretty quickly. But uh, there we go. All right. Well, we're done. We're back into the game. Let's unpause and let's look around here and see where we're at. We haven't bought anything, right? We don't have a land. We don't have um, machinery. We don't have anything. We've got a very small amount of money and we've got a cool little barn here. This is the starting area. If you start a brand new game as just a new farmer with like lots of money and lots of equipment and stuff, this is what you get to start off with. So you get all this stuff. Oh, cool. You can even go down. I mean, I don't think you can actually work on your stuff, but it is kind of cool that it exists. Uh, maybe you can. <laughs> I honestly don't know. We haven't gotten there. Am I stuck? There we go. Um, so we do need to pick out a field to, to buy. Uh, I mean, these fields right here, this is where we're at. I'm going to use the mouse for a second. It's a little easier to move around. We're in this middle section right here, which does give us a very central location if we take some contracts and stuff like that. Oh, what is that? Is that a corn maze? Yes. <laughs> There's a cord maze. All right, we'll have to check that out at some point. That is so cool. Um, but we're very centrally located. We can work contracts on a lot of these things if we decide we need to. Uh, so I feel like this is a pretty good place to be. Uh, we've got the gas station right here. We have, uh, where's the store? And what does that look like? I don't see it over here. That's probably going to be one of the houses, maybe. Where is the store? Hmm. What is this thing? Oh, it's a grain, grain, grain silo. Fast food restaurant. That's pretty cool. At the store, vehicle shop. Okay, so vehicle shop. It's not too far away. We can get over there pretty easily. Uh, but we could start with maybe some of these small fields, and then eventually start growing ourselves out. I mean, we'll think of if we ever got to the point where we had all this. That would be a pretty good chunk of land. A lot of stuff to work on. Um, but I kind of like the starting one. I mean, there's a couple other starting ones. As well, we could always come up here and start in this really, really small spot. Um, got some buildings up here as well. Let's see here. We want to hit X and see how much each of these things cost, for example. So this one's 260. That one's 170. So these are a bit decent prices. Uh, how much is the one that we're sitting on? 156. And presumably it comes with a house and all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. Uh, and it's actually not that expensive to stretch out to some of these other ones. Honest. Oh, yeah, these, these are actually relatively low price. I think this is probably the right move. Um, but I could see an argument for starting one with there's a, there's a lot of farms. There's a lot of little buildings and little farm setups. And so honestly, I would encourage you to poke around and see which one you just think likes you like best. And if I had more time, I would probably go around looking at all these and see which one looks the coolest. But for right now, I think we're going to start in this one. Um, I mean, I could just buy me a little truck and go driving around just to see what they all look like. But I think that would take too long. I want to get into this. I want to get started on this and start having some fun with the game. So let's go ahead and buy this one. I think this is going to be a good one for us to buy. All right, we are back. And I put a little bit of a jump cut in there. Um, so hopefully it flows okay. I apologize if it doesn't. Uh, but I, I, I kind of got to a point where I was like, I kind of stopped talking because I was like, wait a minute, what am I, what am I going to do here? Like, was this the right move? Because I basically, the part you missed was that I had... Went ahead and bought some land. And then I was like, wait a minute, was that the right land to buy? Is that the land that I do want to buy to start this game with? Uh, or do I want to kind of look around at some of the other places and buy, and buy something different? Um, and ultimately I had bought this middle section because that's the section you always start with on the lower level, like the, uh, the easy mode or something like that. And I was like, wait, maybe, maybe that's not the right move. Maybe I wanted to go with one of the other places, like something up here or something down here or something like that. Because there's other couple places that 
look really cool and look like good starting spots. Ultimately, I, what I ended up doing was I just jumped onto the uh, normal mode where you get a pickup truck. And I drove the pickup truck around and I looked at a couple of different places. I didn't look everywhere, so there's still a lot for me to discover on this map. And I will get to do that with you guys. But I went and looked at this location up here. And then I went and looked at this location down here. And these are both very cool locations, but they don't seem quite as ready to just to kick things off and start off with. Um, they have some potential. And I think at some point we might do a, a save playing in one of those locations. But I think for right now, we're going to stay with this section here in the middle and we're just going to buy this and go from there. So I, that's all you missed. I just kind of jumped out for a second, paused the recording and went kind of just looked around to make sure I was making the right decision to start us off with. Um, as far as what we've got here, we do have uh, this first um, farmland. Let me just use the mouse here so I can kind of select things here. We'll start with this right here, right? We'll start with uh, the buildings and we'll start with 44, 45, 46, which is actually a pretty good start to things. And then we could definitely grow out to some of these neighboring places without too much cost. Uh, so definitely something that would be possible for us to continue to grow and expand and, and whatnot. So I think this is the right move for this very first playthrough to start here. Um, but let's go back to the map overview. One other very important thing We'll be seeing what kind of crops on here. We got soybeans. That's fine. We can work with soybeans. We've got sorghum. We have sorghum. I've never used done sorghum before. So that will be new and kind of fun to play around with. And then I think we have canola down there. Yes, we do. We have canola. So three, I think, easy crops to work with. Because I think sorghum functions similar to wheat. Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm not personally very familiar with sorghum. But I think it functions similar to wheat. So I'm hoping it uses the same type of tractors. In fact, we could check real quick. So soybeans, sorghum, and canola. Canola is actually typically pretty profitable. So if we go look at the tractors, for example, let's go look at uh, the combo, the harvesters. And what do they have on? Yeah, so that one does sorghum. Uh, if we hover over this, what, tell us what it is. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, we got sorghum, we got canola, and we've got soybeans. Um, and then, of course, the headers would be something that would be important to look at as well. So if we go look at the headers, the headers do the same thing. I thought they did, but I wanted to make sure. So we could buy the same, uh, harvest the same headers and, or rent, whatever we end up doing, and go from there. One cool thing, uh, as I'm talking about all the amazingly cool things in this game already, um, there is a section down here for used vehicles. So if we get to a point where we're just not in a position to be able to buy something, we could buy something used and save ourselves a bit of money. Although, as you can see, some of these are, it, it's hit or miss what's on here. Um, they, you know, are not all um, what we need, obviously. Obviously, this thing over here, look at this. We don't need this massive potato thing over here. Or is that, yeah, that's potatoes, right? Or, um, am I wrong? Is this the potatoes or is this the, what's the other one that we, we that you see? The, um, the, uh, Sugar beets, right? That's similar, but I think this is the potatoes, right? I forget. Um, we got, you know, this thing. That might be a pretty decent buy at some point. Um, of course, you can always buy something over here that's like too big for anything you've got available, so it may not be worth it. And and obviously, these things are set up to be used. I mean, they're they're not fully fully um, repaired up and things like that. So there is that aspect to it. So, but it's something we can keep an eye on. If we find us a good piece of equipment, might be worth it. Um, if you're not familiar with the um, new farm, the, the, the new farmer version or mode, I should say, there's a lot of stuff missing when you do start from scratch. Uh, you do keep this building. So this building's in the same and there, uh, this building over here is there obviously. And then you have this little decoration over there. But other than that, there's a couple other things. There's like a huge, uh, silo right here, which is very, very cool that we don't get to have. We get, we don't have the house here at the moment and, and a few other things, obviously all the machinery and stuff, but, uh, we're going to jump into this. Let's go ahead and buy this land because I think this is exactly where we want to be. Uh, I think this is exactly the right move. Um, we're going to select this. We're going to buy it. Spend a big chunk of our money, quite frankly, to buy this land. So now we have this land. We've got three good fields here. Uh, this one is currently growing and it's got some weeds. It is 50% fertilized. It needs lime, needs plowing, all that kind of stuff. Most likely what we're going to do, depending on the season we're in, we're in August, um, is let this stuff finish growing and just harvest it as is. And then make sure we're preparing things with the right lime, plowing, weed, fertilization, all that kind of stuff. The next time things come around. So that is going to be the plan, but let's jump over here. Let me see what's over here. Got canola. 
ready to harvest. Oh, this is ready to harvest. Perfect. So we can already get some money right away. More than likely, what we will do is lease a harvester. I don't think we can afford to buy a harvester right now, especially if there's not one that you use right now. This is a forage harvester. Uh, a little bit different, obviously, if you are familiar with that. But we would have to get us a harvester. And like the cheapest harvester is probably going to be that 75000 one at the front, isn't it? There's no DLC yet. So yeah, it's going to be this little little Rustlemosh, Rustlemosh, um, which, I mean, 75, we could make work. Um, if we were to lease, oh, I want to hit the lease button, but I'm worried if I hit the lease button, I like that there's different tires. Is it going to immediately lease it for us? Okay, no, uh, 3825. I'm surprised it doesn't tell us the cost of leasing right here, or am I just blind as a bat? We can see this cool. I and mean, it's a nice little, honestly, this is actually not a bad little harvester. Uh, some of the harvesters I've started with in 19 were <laughs> way less than this. I think there were some DLC ones, but they were definitely a lot uh, a lot less fancy than this one even is. Um, what's the kind of type of head we can have on this one? That actually makes a huge difference. The Rustamash, it is a five meter head, which is pretty small, <laughs> but you know, we'll get, we'll get things done. I mean, it definitely gets a lot bigger. But it would it would be it would be doable for the the size of thing that we have here. It would be a hundred thousand dollars for us to buy it straight up. Hundred thousand dollars, and we still need tractors, uh, like some sort of small tractor. Um, probably get us a tractor for fifty to seventy five k. It looks like. Oh, I like this one. This, this is one of my. This is the tractor I used on nineteen on the Erlingrad map, and it was really cool. I actually liked this a lot. Um, but obviously, we have this new one over here too which is kind of cool. This old, old tractor. Uh, I kind of like it too. But uh, we'll have to look. I mean, what do I want to do here? Do we want to lease? Do we want to buy? I don't know. I think there's arguments both ways. I think if we buy, we could get ourselves into trouble of not having enough money to do what else we want to do. Leasing at least. Typically what I do when I play this game is I lease everything. And then if I once I've got everything I need, so I know that I'm not going to be, oh no, I ran out of money and now I suddenly can't buy that one thing I need critically. Once I have everything I need, then I start going back through and buying the things after that, that um, I feel like I'm going to be using a lot. Obviously harvesters, tractors, things like that. I can see an argument for bar buying the tractor uh, and leasing the, the harvester for now. But of course, if you lease the harvester for 3000 and you only make 3000 on your crop, was that even worth it? You know, so there's that argument as well. Um, I think we are going to lease. I think we're going to lease. I think we're going to start leasing. And then as soon as we know we have everything covered, then we'll start buying and making sure that we're good to go from there. Uh, there's still so much to, man, my, my brain is honestly frying right now from how much stuff that there is to do here. We've got production chains. We've got all this other stuff going on. Uh, and so definitely going to be fun trying to play around with this. You know what? I'm actually going to put a cut in there. A little bit of an intro. We know what fields we have. Uh, we know what we want to do. Uh, you know, I will go ahead and buy us a initial something. We know we've got to harvest the canola over here. So let's go ahead and get us a harvester. And for now, I mean, we're just leasing. I could get a nicer harvester, but no, we're just going to go with this cheap roster mush and be fine with that. Uh, we're going to go in here, customize. Uh, I don't care about the tires. The trailbergs are trailborgs, whatever are perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and lease this bad boy, grab you, Pick that up and then we're going to grab the header as well for this able to do this type of stuff see combinations oh well that's convenient huh that is really cool uh that, that's not something that i they had last time being able to see those combinations of what is this actually connect to that is actually very cool um we're gonna go ahead and lease this bad boy so we're paying up $5,000 already just to get the harvester stuff that we need. Uh, let's go find our tractor. There it is. Uh, what is it? R, yep, there we go. Our X, R B, I should say, X. And we'll pick this thing up and we'll get it over there and then we'll probably put a cut in there after that. I just kind of wanted to get things set up, established, see where we're at. It's possible I should um, check on the uh, fertilization of that one field, but I think it's too far grown up to drive a tract over right now so we're just gonna let those things grow up the way they are and then we'll do proper fertilization stuff like that after that wow this thing is kind of slow 
There is actual shifting, as you can see on the uh, right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner. Uh, you have the maintenance, you have the gas, and then you have the actual shifting. And if I were to... Uh, this one doesn't actually shift, it looks like. Uh, I think it just has drive. But if we have one, like the truck I was driving around earlier, uh, off camera, basically, um, it has lots of different gears that you can shift through, which is kind of cool. Let's get this over to our farm, get this set up, and then we will go from there. We'll put a cut in there, and we'll come back, and we'll start... Start looking at things. And that was one of the things we got to do is we got to clear off our fields. So they're just done. So we, we got a clean slate. And then we've got to start planning out with the seasons um, how we want to do how we want to do this, you know, how we want to do things. I'm keeping it slowed down for the moment just because I'm doing all this intro and talking and stuff. But uh, wait, where did I go the wrong way? Oh, no, it's ahead of us. I was like, is this not is this not our farm? Nope. It's the next one up. I see it up there. There's a the fire department. Well, good. In case we do something stupid and catch all of our fields and stuff like that on fire support your local farmers there we go there's us big old useless silo i mean it would have been cool if it was worked I mean, or if there's a way to like enable it oh well <laughs> it's cool i can't remember if i have crop destruction turned on or not but should be fine we'll be all right at least we're close to the gas station i guess there's that Grayson. Oh, no, Garrison. Garrison. Frizzy Spez Zero. Sure. Who doesn't like low-calorie fizzy Spriz drinks? I like the swing that's just out there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> because the house is normally there. All right. Well, here we are getting set up for our very first harvest of Farming Simulator 22. Pretty exciting. Pretty, pretty going to be fun. Let's get you re side up and uh, we'll get ready. And we'll, we'll do our first harvesting next episode. I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this episode, this series as much as I am. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. There's so many good things, so much to learn. I'm going to make so many mistakes. Bear with me. I'm going to make tons of mistakes. So if you want a video uh, or a series to learn how to play this game, this might be the right one because I'm probably going to screw it up and then you're going to learn how to do it the right way because I will have messed up. But we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, please, if you do like this type of content, it really helps the channel out. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and just really makes it a lot easier for me to continue to do this type of content when I know that you guys enjoy it. So let me know what you think in the comments below about any thoughts, suggestions, ideas. And we're just going to have a lot of fun with this. Again, bear with me. I'm going to learn as I play. And if you guys already know some things, then by all means, you can give me some feedback. Although I may not see it right away. I might record a few episodes before you actually see it. But bear with me. We'll, we'll learn together. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you. May God bless you. And goodbye.